Hello to everybody, and today I've been requested to review and rank all the Inquisitors. So I did this back in I think a couple of years back. So I feel like doing maybe an updated version since we've gotten more Inquisitors since that video. So uh, we're going to touch base on the Legends ones in a bit, but we're going to do the new can since that's what they've been popularized in, the, in that version. But anyway... Uh, the, for the lowest, it's still the Unidentified Inquisitors. I think one of them got their own short story in a book recently, which explores her backstory a little bit more. But, uh, they mainly got killed by Darth Vader after they fell in love or something and tried to chase Eve Koff. But, uh, other than that, they, we, there's not much about these Inquisitors. So, uh, the next one is the, I think that's the fourth Inquisitor? I think his name is, but, uh, I think he, I think he gets his arm chopped off by Darth Vader, and I think he got injured, and he was later confronted by Ahsoka, and he was killed. So, uh, interesting Inquisitor, but not much to really say, other than that iconic moment where Vader chops his hand off. Next is the, I think that's the fourth sister, so uh, she was in the Obi-Wan show for a bit, her species is unknown, and we don't know much about her, we didn't, we she was only in a couple of scenes, but uh, I like her design, but other than that, there's not much to really say about this Inquisitor, I'm really curious actually, what happened to it, because by the time of New Hope, all the Inquisitors are gone. But uh, next is the probably the most controversial, the third sister, Reva. So Reva's quite controversial. Actually, I didn't mind the character. I just did not really understand her motives when she went after Luke. Like she, her whole goal was to uh, find a way to take out Vader by luring Obi Wan out of hiding, by kidnapping Leia. Uh, but, like, Reva has an interesting backstory. Like, it's tragic. Like, she witnessed Anakin uh, slaughter the, the young ones. And she feels like it was, like, no one was there for her. And she lost hope in the Jedi. And that's what led her down her dark path. And she basically just wants to become the Grand Inquisitor. But she ended up getting fooled. And the Empire betrayed her. Like, it was tragic. And the, at least Obi-Wan... Had an open heart for Reva, but we don't know what happened to Reva after that. So, uh, I we might see her again. But uh, Moses Ingram, you did a great job as the character. But uh, yeah, I think I prefer other Inquisitors. But uh, yeah, that's it for Reva's character. Uh, next is I, for, I think the tenth brother. He was in the Mace Windu comic. I I wanted to check it out, but I just haven't made the time to find it. But uh, he has an interesting backstory where, like, he was feeling doubtful about the Jedi. He was this blind Jedi who who betrayed them early in the Clone Wars, I'm pretty sure. And, and he was eventually captured, and then he became an Inquisitor. It was too bad that he, he was killed by uh, the mind-controlled clones, by the Jedi Darth Vader was hunting. But an uh, interesting Jedi. I like how connected it was from those comics. But yeah, next is a recent one. I don't know if you count this as an Inquisitor, but Merrick. So uh, Merrick looked cool. He was this silent bodyguard type Inquisitor. And he mainly got into fights with Ahsoka. I do like the scene where he tries to throw his lightsaber at her, but she dodges it because she's already used to the, how the Inquisitors fight. And people were mysterious about who... Merrick could be. They thought it was Ezra, but we know it. It wasn't Ezra. It was just some guy. And he ends up dying, and uh, that's kind of it for his character. But mainly my issue with these Inquisitors is just they don't have much backstory. Like, they're, they're just these cool, lightsaber-wielding people. But uh, I think there's more in Sinister involved with uh, the whole Merrick. Like, I think there's dark side, maybe Night Sister magic in him, which was cool. So that's Merrick. I think this one is also the fifth sister who was disguised and was in this comic. Cool design, not much for the character. But uh, next is the eighth brother. Okay, so what I really like about the eighth brother is he tried to chase down Darth Maul. 
but uh, he ended up failing, even though he's like a Django jumper, which was really cool. That's, and he had like this sharp blade in his his lightsaber, and he ended up dying by just get, getting his uh, lightsaber destroyed, and he ends up trying to fly away, but he ends up falling to his death. It was like, dang. But, uh, this Inquisitor looked cool. I wish we saw more of him, though, so, but uh, he was in Star Wars Rebels Season 2. So I think he was in the Darth Vader comic, but yeah, it'd be, it would have been a cool boss fight in the Fallen Order games. Next is the Knife Sister. So I feel the Knife Sister was really interesting in like Fallen Order, and I heard she was in Jedi Survivor. Spoilers! If I have not played it, but I know I learned what happens. Uh, the Knife Sister actually dies when fighting Cal Kestis. When they first fought on Kashyyyk, she's like a, she's a more brutal one. She like threatens Cal and his friends, like he, she ain't playing around. And she also even brutally killed one of Cal's friends. Was when Sierra rescued Cal, but uh, Cal ended up like defeating her, and she ended up falling to her death. Like she can sustain injuries. Like she lost her hand, her foot. Like it's crazy. Like she can take a beating. It's a pretty cool. Uh, Inquisitor, and I, yeah, the design is probably usually one of the best, and I think it was one of the easier, one more funner boss fights in the game, which I had the most fun with, but, uh, next is, uh, the Eighth Brother, I was actually really excited when we saw the Eighth Brother on Star Wars Rebels, like, I thought, ooh, the new Inquisitor, who looks kind of like the Grand Inquisitor, the Eighth Brother, he, He's more of the muscle type Inquisitor, but I feel we see more of him in, like, the Obi-Wan show where he tries to teach Reva about being impulsive, even though he's kind of impulsive himself, but, like, the eighth brother was pretty cool. Yeah, I felt they, they kind of didn't do too much of him after his first appearance. He kind of just hangs out with the seventh sister, trying to track down, and, but uh, he ends up getting killed by Darth Maul, which was something... But uh, I feel I like the Seven Sister a lot more. The fact is that she's played by Sarah Michelle Gellar, who was uh who plays Daphne, and Freddie Prince Jr. plays Fred from the Scooby Doo movie. So it's it's a coincidence. But uh, I really like that design. Some people thought she was Barris Offy, but no, pretty sure she's as her own character, the Seven Sister. I liked how, like, she has like those probe droids on her back, or does the hat she wears is cool. The mask like it's really awesome and her lightsaber looks cool too yeah she gets killed by Darth Maul in season two but uh of rebels but uh she was a cool inquisitor and so I think next is the second sister so her backstory is really good in fallen order where like it was very engaging like we know why she's an inquisitor because she was tortured by the empire and she felt betrayed by Suyir and Suyir feels guilty of what happened and she finally learned from her mistakes, and the second sister decided to let go of her anger, even when you fight her in the final boss fight of uh, Fallen Order. Even though you do fight Darth Vader, but uh, it's she gets slain by Darth Vader. I do like her line where she says, Avenge us. And so, yeah, the second sister was definitely interesting. Maybe we could see her again, and like, and then like stories before she died. But I don't know. But the obvious best Inquisitor is the Grand Inquisitor. I feel he was uh he was probably the most one of the best villains in Rebels besides Vader, Darth Maul. But Inquisitor was definitely easily one of my favorite Star Wars villains. Like just look at that design. The, the spinny lightsaber. That's what got me interested in the whole Inquisitor thing. It's like a group of Darksiders Jedis. Apparently, we learn more of his backstory in, like, the Darth Vader comic. And he's even in the recent Star Wars comics where he he's now, like, this ghost or something. And he's, his, he's like, in hell or something. Like, it's crazy. He was able to fight Luke Skywalker. I never thought that would happen. But uh, he has chilling lines like, oh, there are far worse things than death. And he was in the Obi-Wan show. And people were mad all because he got stabbed in the stomach. But uh, he ends up surviving because uh, hatred keeps you alive, I guess. But uh, yeah, the Grand Inquisitor was easily one of the best. And I love his lightsaber duels with Kanan Jarrus and Rebels. So uh, I think I'm just going to do this for fun, but uh, easily the best. I don't know if he counts, but he's the one that started it all. Darth Vader.
So Darth Vader is easily one of the best Sith Lords, even though he did start the Inquisitors, and he's brutal. Like Darth, like we, it's, we already know Anakin's backstory when he became Darth Vader. Like he's Darth Vader's like his own self. Like you don't see Anakin in him at all. The tragedy of Darth Vader. But even though he probably didn't really care about the Inquisitors, but he definitely led the group well. I'm pretty sure, even if he was brutal. But uh. Yeah, that, that's all I gotta say about Darth Vader. I don't know, we've already heard enough about Darth Vader, but uh, I might as well go over the Legends ones. Because why not? Uh, the Legends ones, uh, I don't know much about them, but I know about the the, the one named Sherrick. But uh, he was in like one of those uh, Kyle Katarn Star Wars games, which was cool. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this list, my ranking. Anyway, thanks for watching. May the Force be with you always.